Welcome back to Genesis Alpha 1 and we continue with the tutorial. Last time we uh, built the hangar bay. It's over here and we're busy pulling in resources. Resources we collected. We still had some resources to collect but I think we're done now. One more gunpowder. Now we're going to go down to the planet. Bird controls is on. All right, yeah. I've been playing X4 and X4 wasn't inverted and that was that's been messing with me. Alright. So This is our hangar module. The hangar is necessary to acquire resources, plants, or other interesting things from planets and shipwrecks. You need to assign pilots to operate a hangar. Please use the hangar terminal for additional information. Surely they could have come up with a better model for Ida. Resource acquired. All right, so we want to go down to the Electric Avenue. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> what has this got? This has got sulfur, uranium, and on one side that's got iron, lithium. A lot more important, so we'll Harvester select that one. Set. Come on, get get it right now. Okay, so we got three people joining us, and board harvester got ten seconds. Okay. All right. So now the launcher, uh, the the shuttle is heading down to the planet of our choice, and it's going to land and deploy a sh a bubble of um, protective atmosphere or something like that. So we've got the option to return to the mothership there. There's a um, biomass healing system. And here we've got the environment. Oh, it's waiting for that to load. Now, mounted on the top of the shuttle is a automated gun turret. And as you can see, we've already got incoming. Now we can right click to get stuff from there. Don't walk into the acid, you silly people. And it appears we've got a crashed shuttle here as well. Now this is the site that we we detected on the planet when we scanned it. Now we can't go outside that barrier. That's uh, the resources we collect is limited to this area. Eighty percent. We have to stay here until we've unlocked. All phases complete. Ooh, a suit upgrade. Suit upgrade wall increases heavy caliber consuming weapons by five percent. Okay, now we need to find the resources that we came down here for. And here they are. So this, we go right click, hold the button down, and we start extracting the resources. You'll see in the log it shows you what we've already picked up. Now 
while we're doing this process we could have alien creatures come up on us like that and that allows us to collect their DNA that's the arachnids arachnid DNA Nope, leave me alone. Damn spiders. Get some biomass that heals us if we get damaged. Excess goes into the tank. Harvest is full. Squirrely little buggers. Alright. Time to go. Launch. Now we're gonna get creatures coming up wanting to attack us. Wanting to get into the harvester. But in this case, the harvester closed in time. However, they might actually hitch a ride. Which is why the moment you launch, there we go. Worm, worm. Now it's not the time for that, thank you very much. Okay. Ship found yes, ship refinery. Resources collected on planets need to be refined to a refinery to be useful. Okay, so now they're gonna go and collect these items. Those robots over there and they're going to go put them into a deposit area and because I don't care too much about this tutorial ship I'm not going to secure the deposit as I normally would but there's a chance that when it gets deposited into the deposit that a creature pops out Okay. Welcome to the shipbuilding interface. In the meantime, here you build and upgrade our ship. Modules can also be deconstructed if you're not satisfied with their layout or if you have other reasons to destroy them. Also, I recommend using this interface for orientation on board by accessing the ship map. In the meantime, what we want to do is we want to build a refinery. This is the refinery. Raw materials will be enhanced here. This process takes time. To increase refining speed, assign engineers to work in the refinery. Okay. So now we have the refinery. And the refinery basically just takes this raw materials here and turns it into usable item so that's taking it to the refinery now if it goes now normally you wouldn't want them moving resources backwards and forwards like this through other areas of the ship as the chance of contamination by uh, alien organisms you know it's spreading through your ship there's another time uh, when the resources get deposited that's another opportunity for uh, creatures to spawn out of the actual thing so as you can see there's a refinery inside there a furnace smelting the stuff down we can hold E to speed up the process new materials have been refined okay time to go to the bridge Alright. Hang a bay, greenhouse, yes, there we go. That's the workshop. Storage. Right, going to the bridge. Here are some terminals. Now 
the galaxy terminal. Let's go to the galaxy terminal. Now, this is the area that we can scan over there. So I'm just going to zoom in. So these star systems here are where, how far we can scan and jump to. All right. Now we've explored all the all the planets here because we've scanned all the planets, so we know what there is. So when we're ready, we can leave this area. Um, the other sectors of that area have not been scanned, so we can hold go to one of these terminals, hold E in order to speed up that scanning. So what we're going to do is we're going to get ready to do a hyper jump. Let's just speak to. Why would they give it? In any case. Welcome to the bridge, Captain. Here you can find the galaxy terminal, hyperdrive control, and computer mainframe. Use the galaxy terminal to set travel destinations. Okay, so that is a trader. So we're going to jump in that direction. You see the the rating on the on the sectors as well. The danger is low. Unknown solar systems. So now we've selected that area, and we're going to Warning. jump. Prepare for hyperdrive. <laughs> Try running down a corridor when you do when you do that. Okay, congratulations, good job. You should now be familiar with all the basics that a Genesis captain must know. More information is available by asking crew members or using IDIS spots. Okay, located in various ship models. Now, when they say asking crew members, you can go and you can go speak to crew members. So like this dude over here and talk to him you vital you can ask him about the vital biosphere the plants the greenhouse crew tier complexity stored plants plants decaying plant seeds transmissions shipbuilding and ranks so let's look at something like tier complexity high tier plants will provide more biosphere and then transmissions check your pda for intercept transmissions regularly transmissions can indicate important loot locations will be marked on the galaxy terminal and then ranks crew members gain experience for fighting enemies working mining or when they survive a sickness each with each rank the armor level will be increased also new ranks unlock skills such as improved mining crew weapon selection and the, all the ability to destroy alien nests shipbuilding use the shipbuilding menu to strategically extend your ship be sure to take necessary precautions into account when laying the ship out so on so on and so forth so yeah in order to change a weapon requires the rank of lieutenant and we can also rename the various um, crew members and this dude here is called Faber Faber is a sergeant Track to be needed storage, alien stowaways. During the beginning of the process, there's a chance of alien life forms entering the ship. Yep. Let's go here. Let's speak to Peyton. Hangar criminal, hangar crew, alien danger. Sector scans, deposit space, resource locations. So, lots of stuff you can you can uh, do. Okay, 
Okay, so that's that for the tutorial. Inside here there's also a weapon rack. Obviously the return to RTB screen and the biotank. As for the rest of the ship, we have crew quarters. That was the workshop crew quarters over there. Clone lab, refinery. Go take a look at the crew quarters. This is storage, very similar, it's just a basic sort of storage system. Hmm. I think you could put an access, access hatch in there. This is the crew Survival quarters. Your ship is like an ark, and the crew is the most important part of your endeavor. No crew, no genesis. Improve the crew's DNA and treat That's them properly, liquid. and they will grant success of your mission. And that is Each crew a member crawl, needs a crew if I quarter correctly. Cabin, or they can become sick. Assign crew members to modules to maximize the module's functionality. If you die, you will respawn as one of them. With all of your abilities that's and a flaws metallic included. One. As long as crew members are alive, so are you. Yep. So basically, as long as there is one living crew member, you are able... That looks weird. You are able to take control of that crew member in order to save the ship. I love the way the artwork for the game is done in the sense of like movie movie posters. Superior genetics to the last man crew quarters sleeping bunks relaxation area and you can use this to call Ida. And that's pretty much it. Um, so it's a bit of a short one. So one thing I'll do is let's just go here. So there's a trader there. So let's do a hyper jump. Warning. Prepare for hyperdrive. Ooh. <laughs> that looks cool. That looks cool. Okay. So that's a trader ship over there. Alright. Either a ship or a space station, I'm not sure. Basically, this is the hologram of the trader. You can see he's a crawl. Welcome. And we can come here. So this is what we have. This is what he has. And give us a, clo a whole clone lab. Trade value is 30. So we have to offer 30 worth in order to get that clone lab. So we don't have nearly that much yet. But um, yeah, so we can trade for framework. Um, I don't know why they use the the iron ore symbol there for the framework, but you know, the same with the battery, it uses the um, uh, what is the ore, the lithium one. Circuit should be copper. Clone lab version two, energy rifles and once again just back away uh, 
Now, these sectors here, they don't have anything happening in them. There's nothing to, to explore there. Right, and that is it for the tutorial. So, um, what we'll do is, uh, in the next episode, we will start a new game, and that will be the actual that'll be the actual campaign. One thing I didn't do is I didn't show you guys this. Um, so weapons, we can make a laser pistol, we can make a laser rifle. Defenses, turrets, energy barriers, robots, we can create robots, the robotic robots, ammunition, we can create a energy cells, and those are harvest upgrades. And then, as far as uh, we're concerned, suit upgrade, we have available to us a heavy caliber damage, 5%. And add that to there. Right, so a bit of a shorter one today. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button. Let me know what you think of the game in, in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't and uh, share the video with your friends. See you next time.